Well, I thought I'd put a short video on just a little teaser on my ant project. Uh, it's taken almost a month or maybe more than a month to get a cabinet from Weber. Uh, it's a really nice tweed cabinet with a wheat grill and it and it's the baffles cut for a 10 inch and 8 inch speaker those two speakers right there they call it the Maggie cabinet but uh, here's the amp it's it's been done for a few weeks now and I actually play it right here just like this through these speakers and it sounds like a AM radio without the cabinet so I won't I won't bore you with that sound but uh, got some really nice new old stock tubes in here this is Sylvania 5Y3 this is a new old stock uh, tongue saw 5881 sounds great and this is a nice uh, Mullard 12A X7 uh, you can actually see it spark up here when I uh, turn it on you know how they have that that little burst they're known for when you turn on a mullard or a couple other ones do that Amperex I think but uh, you can actually hear the it's got a boost switch right here <coughs> which actually adds a little bit of it pops when it's first because you're actually changing the bias on the preamp tube which is going through some capacitors that have a built up charge um, very nice little lamp it's pretty much like a beefed up champ or a, a, a tweed Princeton you know the, the blackface Princeton's had two 6v6's the good thing with this is I can I can put a 6l6 here I can put a 6v6 I can put any kind of tube I want uh, you know the rectifier stays the same um, uh, EL34 I've got one right here uh, that sounds good too I don't know uh, actually I like the 5881 it sounds great got my Sprague Adams uh, filters and uh, Mallory coupling caps it's a very nice kit. A uh, Mojo power transformer and a Hammond. Let's see, we'll go over here in the Hammond output transformer down there. Got the. It's very quiet when the, the boost isn't on. It's such a simple amp. This is like a treble boost right here, and then this is a fat boost, they call it. It's such a simple amp that. There's only very short path from the guitar to the the speakers, the signal path. All the wires are very short. It's very simple, so it should sound great. And next video will be in the cabinet, which hopefully I get it. Hopefully I'll get that in a week or so. I'll be back.